So well folks, wherever you may be joining us on this is a Labyrinth TV, now we're the pride of the nation. Today we are here in Grand Bassa Kanje. Like we normally uh, uh, told our audience, our followers, our viewers, a Labyrinth TV now is not just a one-sided uh, channel, uh, uh, not just a one-sided station. So I say wherever you may be watching us from, this is a force of the people, the pride of the nation, the integrity of the people. So we are here to say, we're bringing you happening right now in Grand Bassa County. So this is the principal street of Bikano. So I, Labyrinth just got rabbit 72 hours to go. Well, Labyrinths will be making a brilliant decision. So you got uh, four or five candidates are here today officially launching. So on yesterday, we were in Grambas, uh, we were in Monserrado County, Electoral District 12, District 14. Well, uh, the United Party will feature the close uh, campaign activities yesterday. And today, we thought it was to come as far as Grand Basel County to bring you the happening here today in Grand Basel County. So, our next stop will be uh, at the fairground, at the Dwight Williams Poor Page, where all the supporters of Honorable Finnet were assembled today. As he officially closed his campaign just 72 hours to electoral matters here in Liberia. So uh, I am your reporter, Brother Simeon Smith. We thought it wise to stop by here in Grand Basso and continue to give you updates on the happening in Liberia as Liberians get prepared to make a brilliant decision comes of Tuesday, October 10, 2022 at the Badaba. So stay with me. Excuse me, sir. I see you supporting uh, Ambassador uh, uh, Finnet Wood back in 2017 when on the ticket of CDC. And today I see Sedition also supporting him here on this parade. What do you have to say to the fellow elections as we are with October 10? Thank you very much. As I, as I lead the move of being moving, I want to say to you that when I see this video, that we are not just here as a county to support the political party. We are here to support people that we believe can deliver. For over six years or five years now, look at the road. We are clear with the issue of scholarship. We are clear with the issue of macro loan. We are clear with the issue of electoral city in Grand Bassa County. And we can say to the people of this country, if we get elected in October 10th, and we will get elected, we give them one year, and they're and they foreign, we hit the candidate. Okay, do you you there? You mentioned about electoral city. Uh, for the past uh, two, three years, the substation being built in Grand Bassa, having been distributed. So what is uh, the outcome of it after this uh, electoral matter? Our, our government need to say to us, our government need to say to us, why is it that the promise to bring the Premier Basel is not a generator room? That when the gas finish, Jerry Flatt and put gas in it. You cannot be giving power and the sell power to other groups. And Basel don't have power. We are all in Liberia. Our independent is all in Liberia. We have produced five presidents, two Senate pro temporary, one deputy speaker, and we can say to you, we are tired. And you cannot challenge me here. So thank you, to, thank you for speaking to the Labour TV network. So uh, that was a force of another supporters of Ambassador Finney here in Grand Bassa County. So this is the Labour TV network, the proud of the nation. We continue to bring you all necessary happening here in Liberia. We got wrapped it, wrapped it, 72 hours to go to electoral matters here in Liberia. October 10, 2023, we will be going to the battle battle to make a brilliant decision, an excellent decision that will, that will take Liberia from where it is today to carry Liberia to where it's supposed to be. So it is our duty to bring you update uh, here in Liberia. 
So, uh, like I said, the principal street of Grand Basso County is locked down in the hands of Honorable yeah, Philip. Yeah. All right, Honorable Philip won't serve in the House of Senate, and then he was appointed uh, as a Senate pro temporary honor Her Excellency, Madam Eddie Johnson Sully. Unfortunately for him, back in 2017, uh, he was defeated on the ticket of CDC, and today he's coming back, want to go back in the House of uh, Senate on the ticket of the Labour Collaborating Political Party. So, Abenja reported, I'm here in Grand Basel County. Trust me, a very moment from now, we will be taking you at, at the Derek Williams Sport page where he will be delivering his message to the people of Grand Basel. So uh, we are walking towards Moreover Junction. I just want to give you the actual look of the street today as campaign activities in Liberia comes to conclusion today. So this is the voice of the people. The channel of the people. We all will tell our viewers, leave your comment, tell how do you feel about the electoral matters here in Liberia. We say no to electoral violence. If Liberia, if Liberia should maintain the peace, the press, stakeholders, international partners, individual as well, our messages out there can help us to maintain the peace in Liberia. So Basel being one of the most populated countries here in Liberia, among other countries, we got the Maghibi, we got the Bon County, and we got the River Sex. So I, uh, we are walking on the principal street of Tottenham Street right now, from Morovia Junction. Our next stop will be at uh, the Derek Williams Pope, the fairground community, where he will be giving his information. So we promise him to bring you happening around Liberia as we go back to the battle battle to make that decision come October 10th. We shall be on that faithful Tuesday morning where Putin Center will be opening from 7 o'clock and we'll be closing by 7 p.m. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. here in Liberia. So I have been your reporter, Brother Simeon Smith. Thank you for staying with me.